Hello, everyone, and welcome to a beautiful evening at Wintercrest Park for CTN's live coverage of high school baseball. Non-conference action under the lights as the Coon Rapids Cardinals host the Minnetonka Skippers. Joey on Howie Shapiro behind home plate. And two teams, Howie, coming in both at 7-7. Seven and seven. Yeah, this should be a lot of fun. And, you know, not always you get to see uh, Coon Rapids gets to see Minnetonka and vice versa. You talked about it. The weather is beautiful. It's a perfect night for a ball game, and it, it'll be it'll be fun because both teams are somewhat similar in, in you know obviously in record, but also in, in batting average. And so we'll see. I think the uh, the team that gets the advantage here tonight maybe gets going early. Well, for the Coon Rapids Cardinals under Matt Mossy, they've had some very strong pitching, but the offense has been very hit or miss up and down throughout the season. And uh, they know with the last couple of weeks of the regular season schedule, they've got to get it figured out uh, heading into the postseason. Well, the one thing they have figured out, Joe, is their pitching staff. They've uh, they've been doing a really nice job from the hill. And as Don Bright always says, it starts from the mound. And Jacob Maddock is looking to get it started here tonight for Coon Rapids. And strong pitching can take you a long way, but only as far as you can get the uh, run support. There's a look at the defense behind Jacob Maddock, Jared Fearing, Danny Scheller, and Matthew Stahlberger in the outfield right to left. Tommy Dutton at first, Jeremy Adi at second, Sammy Lee is the shortstop, Zach Novak is at the hot corner. And Jaden Cobb is behind the plate. Number nine, Lincoln Heitkamp digging in for the skippers to get us underway and a fastball foul back out of play. Heitkamp steps to the plate, hitting 333 on the season. The skippers hit 277 as a team. Very close to the Cardinals hit, but I believe 271 as a squad. But uh, Heitkamp, uh, pretty good hitter at the plate, pretty good leadoff hitter. Frozen by the off-speed pitch, and Maddox jumps ahead in the count, 0-2. He's had 12 hits. Five of those hits, Joe, extra bases, all doubles. Curveball is smoked to center. Underneath it, though, is Scheller for out number one. Yeah, ballpark looks great. Good shape. Turf's in good shape. Kind of a mild wind that's blowing out. Bring up the shortstop, Will Keppen. Kippen, one of those skippers hitting, uh, I think he's the leading hitter on this team at 395 on the season. Maddox starts him with a curveball down and in. First pitch Maddox is missed with. And Kepin jumps ahead and they count 1-0. Fastball rolled to the right side. Adi is there, fields throws to Dutton for out number two. Yeah, nice pitch. To, uh, Keeps the ball down low in the zone, forces him to hit on the ground. And Adi, as you mentioned, with a nice play at second base, routine, ground ball, and throw to Dutton for the out. Two, two relatively quick innings here in the top of the first. Nathan Wheeler, the third baseman, will try and break up the perfect inning so far for Jacob Maddock. Wheeler. Not tempted by the big breaking curveball that skipped all the way to the backstop. Wheeler hitting 333 on the season. Maddox goes back to the fastball, called a strike, evens the count, one on one. Mixing up his pitches quite effectively so far. Goes back to the curveball and Wheeler lays off two and one. You know, right now it's not hurting any pitchers at this point, obviously, but a lot of real estate behind home plate here at Wintercrest. Ball gets behind the catcher. You easily advance a base. Fastball swung on and missed. Two and two. Fastball bounced back to the right side. Dutton got it off the backhand and not able to get it over in time for Maddox covering. It kind of skipped off the heel of the glove of Dutton trying to backhand it. Yeah, you're going to see they it here. They are going to put it up as an error. Yeah, and it should be. I mean, that's a play. It would have been, it would have been a close play at first because you're, you've got Maddox coming off the mound trying to cover the base at first. 
Audi was looking to see if he could get that, but Dutton felt the best uh, recourse was to try and backhand it and flip it out. But That'll bring up the cleanup man, Ethan Binder, and looking to help his own cause. He's getting the start on the hill. Comes to the plate with two out and a runner at first. Looks at a fastball for a strike. And they'll check on Wheeler. He's back in time. Binder hitting 270 on the season. Fastball misses high, and the count is even one and one. Maddie trying to work his way around a two-out error here in the top of the first inning. You know, we've seen some, some contests where the Cardinals have had some little bit of trouble in the field defensively. Well, we've only seen this only oh, third game close. of the season. Yep. Uh, we saw a couple of games in the first week of the season. Yep. Haven't seen them since, so they've played a lot of baseball since that time. We have watched from afar. One we and have. one. The count to Binder, and he is going to drive one deep That's to gone. left and gone. And Minnetonka has a 2 nothing lead. Well, Joe, that's the way you help your cause as a pitcher by putting one out of the ballpark. Binder with it just jumped all over that fastball and gave it a ride to deep left center field. Put As you mentioned, put the skippers on top 2-0. So Maddox able to get two pretty quick outs, then an error allows the inning to continue, puts Wheeler at first. A couple pitches later, and Ethan Binder hammers it over the fence and left. Yeah, looking like that fastball up a little bit in the zone, and Binder able to jump on it. Now Gus Berger. Drops a good bunt down the left field line. Novak fields and throws, but not in time. That'll be an infield bunt single for Gus Berger. Well, you know, certainly defense not expecting that situation. And you, you set it off the bat, a beautiful bunt as he laid down. Kind of died in that infield grass. No opportunity to get him, for Novak to get him at first. So you get the... The no doubt two run home run and two pitches later, a bunt single down the third base line. And now Hudson Poole will take a look at Jacob Maddock. First pitch low, one and oh, this one fouled and out of play. And the count is even. Throws outside and cop just a pump fake. Make sure Berger stays close. Well, Berger, Berger had a pretty good lead off the off the base paths. Off first. Curveball in there for a strike. Two and two. It's a great pitch from Jacob Maddock, and yeah. he needs to get out of this inning. He definitely does need to get out of this inning without any additional damage. This one chopped to the left side. Novak fields, throws, and gets the third out. But an error, a home run. Gives Minnetonka a 2-0 lead after half an inning on CTS. So the home squad right where they did not want to be looking up at the skippers from the very start and needing to dig themselves out of a hole here in the bottom of the first inning. Center fielder Danny Scheller will be the leadoff man for 
The Cardinals, Tommy Dutton will start out on deck with Jared Fearing behind him. The catcher, Jaden Kopp, is hitting cleanup. Then Zach Novak, Sammy Lee, Jacob Califut, Stahlberger, and Adi will finish out the order for Coach Matt Mossy. There you see Ethan Binder, who definitely helped his own cause in the top half of the first with a two-run shot on the mound for Minnetonka. Well, I was going to say, he's one of a number of guys on this roster that have a lot of size to yeah. them, so you know they can hit for power. His bat did the talking for me. I didn't need to mention it as he absolutely crushed the 1-1 pitch. And now takes over with a lead. And there's his defense behind him. Wyatt Maurer out in left. Hudson Poole in center. And Tyson Mahaddy is the right fielder. Gus Berger and Colton Benedict on the right side of the infield. Nathan Wheeler and Will Keppen on the left. Lincoln Heitkamp is behind the dish for the starting pitcher, Ethan Binder. Well, Cardinals like to come out here in the in the bottom half of their first and definitely get some base runners, see if they can put some runs on the board after a, a quick 2-0 uh, lead for the Skippers. Both runs will be unearned. Danny Scheller digs in and looks at a fastball that clips the outside edge. And it's 0-1 for Ethan Binder. Scheller hitting 306 as he steps to the plate. Binder trying to go right back there. Missed a little bit off the edge, evens the count. Curveball, easy take for Scheller as it dropped down into the dirt, two and one. Fastball swung on and missed. Yeah, Binder is starting to develop a pretty quick rhythm. Yeah, he moves quickly. It definitely uh, doesn't take a lot of time between pitches. A speed pitch grounded to the left side, fielded by Wheeler. The throw to Berger in time for out number one. Nice, strong throw across the diamond from Wheeler. Get the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up the first baseman, Tommy Dutton. The first baseman, number 22, Tommy Dutton. Tommy hitting 333 on this season. Having a nice year. Curveball is chopped to the left side, fielded by Wheeler on the run. Over to Berger in time. One pitch, one out. Well, that was a heck of a play by Wheeler. I mean, he had to, he had to go. Well, Dutton to his really was right. hoping this one went foul because yep. he. As soon as he swung, he wished he had it back because that was a curveball dropping down out of the zone. And he just softly tapped it right down the line. Well, it's just a nice throw falling away, too. Right. Oh, absolutely. Good play by Wheeler. And now Jared Fearing, Fearing comes to the plate with the bases clear and two away. And he looks at that fastball on the outside edge for a strike. Fearing hitting 250 on the season. Popped up right side. Looks like it may stay in play, and it will. Berger underneath it for out number three. Cardinals go quickly in the home half of the first. We go to the second. Minnetaka on top, 2-0 on CTF. Okay, I have a couple good ones for you, Joe. How do football players stay cool? by standing next to the fans. <laughs> what kind of tea do football players drink? Penalty. Why can't you play football with pigs? Because they hog the ball. Uh. As you know, CTN's on YouTube, and we're on in a big way. We have thousands of videos online to help you stay connected to Coon Rapids on any device, at home, or on the go. And it's because of your faithful viewership that we can celebrate 10,000 subscribers to the CTN YouTube page. 
thank you for your support as we continue to keep you connected. Red made the trip to Wintercrest for the evening game, and so far he has not brought his team the luck he had hoped to. Well, it's early. Red, uh, Red's always at the at the sporting events. So we're like we've always we always say it would be the same without him here. Well, the Cardinals had Jacob Maddock came out, got two quick outs, and then uh, an error seemed harmless enough until. There was a home run to follow. And after a very quick one, two, three, bottom half of the first inning, Maddox right back on the bump. Facing the bottom third of the order for Minnetonka. Tyson Mahatty, Colton Benedict, and Wyatt Maurer are the scheduled hitters. And curveball's in there for a strike. My hat, he's uh, hitting 250 on the season. Another nice pitch. Quickly ahead in the count, 0 2. Maddie goes to the fastball up high, and Mahatty can't lay off. Swinging, strike three. Yeah, that's one he'd love to have back. Again, you talked about it. Uh, that was way up in the zone, but he offered. Well, after seeing two breaking pitches, he started with the big sweeping yep. curve and then like a, a little breaking a cutter that had a little more speed to it. Then goes to the fastball. And it looked like they, the other two, except it never fell, and it kept getting faster. Colton Benedict fouls off a fastball as the first pitch from... Jacob Maddock. Then he goes to the breaking pitch. Got a piece of it on its way through. Adi went a long way to field that one, but into the outfield grass, and that will be a single for Colton Benedict. Yeah, back, back up the box, and obviously Maddock couldn't make a play on the ball. Otherwise, uh, that, if he had able to get his glove on it, that would have been an out. But uh, nice job up the middle, getting a base hit here with one away. So the number nine hitter, Wyatt Maurer, with one out and one on. Looks at a pitch off the plate, one and oh. Well, Maddox wants to try and keep something down low in the zone. See if he can force him to hit something on the ground. Fastball skied to short center, waiting and waiting is Scheller eventually able to put leather on the baseball and get out number two. He hit it a long way. He did, just high. Just long way up. <laughs> An extreme that, not, well, upward that, yeah, angle. Exactly. Back to the top of the order, Lincoln Heitkamp also flew out to center field. Didn't loft it out quite that way, but Result was the same. Looks at that little breaking pitch for a strike, 0 and 1. Benedict, the runner at first, and they'll check on him. He's back in time. Fastball called the strike on the outside edge, and Maddock, where he likes to be, ahead in the count 0 2. Runner goes, pitches down and away, and Cop couldn't handle it cleanly, and Benedict easily over to second base. Yeah, he got a nice jump on the ball, too. It would have been a tough play, even if uh, obviously that ball he had the backhand, even if he fielded it cleanly would have made it tough to throw it on a second. So now a runner in scoring position with two away. One two pitch to Heitkamp. Camp, another curveball. This one in the zone called strike three ends the inning. Cardinals back in the dish, trailing two nothing early. You're watching high school baseball on CTN. So how 
Joey, did you know the term soccer actually came from England? Uh, but don't the English call soccer football? Like pretty much everyone else. Yeah, but only after we started saying soccer and the world was mocking us for it. So you're saying the UK set us up? Yep, sabotage. Ah, oh, Brits. Beautiful evening for a ball game here at Wintercrest Park. Cardinals always get themselves a couple of evening games under the lights over here in the season, and this is one of them. Yes, it is. Hasn't started the way they had hoped. Minnetonka gave with a two-run home run in the top of the first inning. From their starting pitcher, Ethan Binder, and then Binder baffled the Cardinals, got him one, two, three in the bottom half of the first. Now it's Jaden Kopp, Zach Novak, and Sammy Lee. Kopp hitting 289 as he steps to the plate. Cardinals like to get something going here at the plate. Granted, it's early, obviously, but uh, three hits for the skipper so far through two. Their two innings and a couple of runs thanks to that two run shot. Pitch in the dirt, evens the count, one and one. Curveballs, sliced foul, one and two. Good spot for Binder to be in here. And the count one and two. This one rolled to the left side, fielding it is Keppin. The throw in the dirt, scooped well though by Gus Berger for round number one. Yeah, Keppin had to go deep in the hole for that play, but again, just a nice scoop at the bag. Berger made sure that uh, they were gonna record the out. Well, Gus Berger, he, he's making my all-star team because it's it's solely based on the, the shortest guy in the roster is always going to make the all-star team. And so far, he's been stellar. He, not the prototypical body type, except that he's left-handed at true, first base. True. But he's very flexible. He stretches well. Great dig on that one. Yeah, it was, it was a phenomenal dig. Not to mention the beautiful bunt single that he laid down in the first. High pop-up into short left field. Backing up for it is Keppin, and there are two away. Uh, Novak got underneath that particular one, and relatively quick two outs in the field for the skippers. Uh, and Coach Don Bright was telling us earlier last week's loss to Washburn, a, a lot of it was not that they weren't hitting, it was how they were hitting. A lot of fly balls, and if they hit them on the ground with more power, they might have a little bit more success, but we've seen a couple of guys just putting air underneath it early. Sammy Lee hitting 182 at the plate. Yeah, and he told me also that they were hitting right at guys. And some of that you can't, you just can't help. No. Make good contact, but it's right at the defender. This one spun into the dirt, one and two. Another pitch in the dirt all the way to the backstop, two and two. Love to see the Cardinals try and find some holes on the ground is what Coach Bright was. Absolutely. Insinuating and a little half 
swing foul out of play for Sammy Lee. Keeps him alive at 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, kind of protecting the plate on that one. Statistically, your odds are better to get base hits on a ground ball. Absolutely. You can find a hole. You got to find the hole. But yeah, absolutely. This one rolled back up the middle. Keppen scoops just behind the bag at second. The throw is in time. And the Cardinals go 1-2-3 again in the second inning. We go to the third. Minnetonka 2, Coon Rapids 0 on CTF. and YouTube pages, we're now live on our Twitter page. You choose how you want to watch Cardinal Nation. With CTN, you'll be able to catch all the big plays, all the emotion, and all the fun of Coon Rapids sports. CTN Coon Rapids, stay connected. Back at the ballpark, all the excitement in the top half of the first inning. Minnetonka had both of their hits, both of their runs. It came courtesy a two-run home run for Ethan Binder since then. Not a lot. Nope. Jacob Maddock. Good second inning for Jacob. Hey, he gave up a, a single that was kind of a seeing eye single yep. right back through the middle with just enough oomph that no one could would have a play on it by the time it was fielded. But uh, other than that, a couple of strikeouts. Here's Will Keppen. Keppen grounded out to second base in the first inning. There's head coach Paul Twenge. And some good location for Jacob Maddock early. I know when we saw him come up last year and really the summer before that, it was all about the fastball, and he's got a good one. But uh, he's got a couple of different breaking pitches now that really makes him a much more dangerous and complete pitcher. I agree. Goes to that fastball and just misses outside. Falls behind in the count, two and one. You know, it's all how you come back to it. State of mind. It's after giving up that two-run shot, came back in that nice second inning. Breaking pitch stays outside and now in danger of a leadoff walk. Fastball and Kevin got just a piece of it. Count is full. I fly and that will stay in play, but no chance for Novak to get there. That's a long run for him. We'll try again. Coach Twangy nice enough to help him get get his hat back. <laughs> Another three-two pitch from Jacob Maddock. This one. High fly to left. Underneath it, Stahlberger. It was a little bit at the end to make the catch for out number one. Yeah, it got under, just a little bit underneath it, but a nice swing on it. Nice uh, nice job, Stahlberger. Didn't have to move too much to record that out. The third baseman, number 19, Nathan Wheeler. Pitch down and away. Nathan Wheeler starts out 1-0. Wheeler ground ball to the right side that was bobbled by Tommy Dutton with two outs in the first. And that kept the inning alive for Ethan Binder, who hit a two-run bomb to he left did. field. He did. Great-looking nice pitch. pitch right there is... 
Maddie can throw any of his three pitches for strikes as he has shown here early on in this ball game. And they count one and two. Fastball misses high. Mataka coming off a 2-1 loss at the hands of Wyzetta. Looking to bounce back here. Wheeler out in front of that one. Strike three, third strike out of the ball game for Jacob Maddock. Now that the skippers, the pitcher number 11, Ethan Binder. Here comes Binder, who you had mentioned, hit that two run homer. Yeah, he loved to help his own cause again, but uh, yeah, they, you can't help yourself much more than he did in the first. A 1 1 pitch that he got all of. Well, Maddox going to remember that, too, quite obviously, that he, he gave that uh, high fastball up to him. They... Got him to swing at yep. a pitch, dying down and away, one and one. Goes back to that little cutter, but misses outside, two and one. Yeah, cop. Cop tried to frame that one, see if he could get the call. And the fastball <laughs> hit. Down. Coach Twain, thought, thought about, about it. Thought it, about it. You know, it's not worth breaking that little pinky. Probably all right if I just let that yep. go. Let one of the kids chase oh, it. They down. said that one's going a little too fast. Yeah, two and two with two out. Binder got just a piece of it. He did. We'll try again. Another 2-2 two -two. from Maddock. The curve misses outside and the count is full. Again, that didn't miss by too much and good patience at the plate. By Binder. This one chopped to the left side on a couple of hops. Lee takes his time, throws to Dutton. And the Skippers are retired 1-2-3 in the top of the third, bottom half after this on CTN. Howie, do you know why fish are so bad at volleyball? Because they're afraid of the net. Why me? Why couldn't the volleyball player cross the road? There were too many bumps. <laughs> Why was Cinderella kicked off the team? Because she ran away from the ball. I hate you. Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events and the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. At this pace, we may not need the lights much. A 6.30 start at Wintercrest Park, and we are clipping right along. We're just about ready to start the bottom half of the third inning. Famous last words, possibly. But so far, Ethan Binder has been just cruising on the hill. He has. Just throwing strikes, letting his defense work. Well, he has retired six straight to start the contest, and it's been four ground balls and two pop-ups. And we talked about he's a quick worker. He doesn't take a lot of time between pitches. Can not let the batters think too much at the plate. Jacob Califoot, the DH today for the Cardinals, looks at a fastball at the knees, 0-1. Yeah, 15 of his 19 pitches for strikes so far. Make it 16 of 20. 
and he's right ahead in the count 0-2 to Jacob Califit. Califit hitting 333 on the season. He starts uh, the, his first at bat here. And then he pulls the string, gets Califit way out front swinging early and gets his first strikeout of the ball game. Just really a nice pitch. Does a good job of mixing it up. That'll bring up Matthew Stahlberger. First pitch, stroke to second. Benedict Fields throws, and there's two away. Quick second out here in the bottom half of the third. Yeah, so far the only thing that has left the infield was Novak's quote unquote pop up that was to short left, I guess. It was it was taken by Will Keppen out into left field, but uh, not very deep. Adi, first pitch, and that one bounces away from Berger. He tried to scoop it up after it got away from him, but Adi is gonna reach base. Cards with their first base run. I kind of handcuffed them. Yeah, and Adi put some pop on he it. Did. First pitch he saw. And it hit Berger up in the. Uh, I think those guys talk about uh, the fact that they can see each other eye to eye. They just gave, they just gave the Cardinals the error. They, they, they gave not, it to themselves. No, that's not how it works. Not, no, definitely not. But uh, it looks like it will go on the board as an error as they. Like I said, put it up there for Coon Rapids because they got the base runner. They do. Back to the top of the order, Danny Scheller, a ground ball to third base the first time up. Looks at a fastball for a strike. Alcard's trying to make something happen here with two away. Pitches inside, and Adi dives back as Heitkamp threw down to Berger behind him. A speed pitch, high fly to short center. Settling underneath it is Poole, and that is out number three. The Cardinals get a base runner with two out, but do no damage. They still trail 3-0 as we head to the fourth on CTF. Today we're on soccer, Joe. So my goal is to kick around some topics with you, but I don't want to follow things up by being too forward. Please stop that. <laughs> so could you assist me? Stop. Maybe pass some ideas How? so we can tackle this together? Howie? Oh, boy. I'm just saying, this really isn't my field. Unbelievable. Here we are. Back at the ballpark behind home plates on our, a beautiful evening. It's in our contract. We, we get on camera at least once a game. And now you won't see this for the rest of the night. Everyone. And then people are clapping. They're going, yes, thank you very much. I was going to say a collective uh, sigh from the audience. <laughs> <sighs> we got the right. All right, but we got a good ball game. You know, again, Jacob Maddock, we talked about at the start, is has been throwing very well. The Cardinals have not been getting their pitching, the, the run support they nope. need. And Maddock, perfect example tonight. He comes out in the first inning. He gets two pretty quick outs. There's an error. Then he gives up a home run. Didn't really phase him much. He, he gave up, since then, he gave up a bunt single to the next guy, which was unexpected in a seeing eye single. But he has cruised. He has. And he's really been in strong control. Uh, of the strike zone and of the hitters since that time. And from the time he took the hill, Ethan Binder, who had already given himself 
a two-run uh, lead with that home run in the first. Uh, he has been rock solid for Minnetonka. This one in foul territory for an out for Gus Berger and a pretty quick out to start the fourth. Yeah, I, and again, you know, Maddox just settled down after giving up that two-run homer and, and this pitch really well up until now. And so he's got an opportunity if he can get some run support to obviously stay in this game. And, but that's the key because Binder is pitching so well. And eventually you need offense. You definitely at need offense. At this point, at least three runs. Yes. Jeremy Adi finally able to get on base, the ninth hitter of the ball game for the Cardinals, and legging out a hard hit ball that was ruled an error as it skipped away from first baseman Gus Berger. This one hit well to center and misjudging it a bit was Stahlberger. He came in and then it's over his head. Hudson Poole is digging and going for third. The relay is there in time. I think he got, oh. oh they say he slid in safely. I, I don't know about that. They got him. <coughs> I think everyone expected him to stop at two. Oh, he hustled. And he just flew. Let's take another. It's a close play. If you get a chance to take a look at it, but he legged that one out. And I think, I don't know if Stahlberger lost it in the sun. Oh, he's so out. Isn't he? I can't tell. I can't tell by that. Okay, maybe a better angle from here. No, he's. No, he got it. He did get in there. Well, and they put it as an error on the board for Stahlberger. This one chopped. Over the drawn in infield, Hudson Poole will trot in easily with a little more comfortable lead for the Minnetonka Skippers. Why don't you get hustle on the base pass, stretching that double into a into a triple, and then uh, well, and I, I nice it's, base hit to it's score. It's tough to call it an error on Stahlberger because he never touched it, although he did, he did misjudge it a little bit. Uh, and then you take a triple away from Hudson Poole. I guarantee in the Minnetonka scorebook, that's it's a, a triple, triple all, the all way. day long. Absolutely. I agree. And I think I, yeah, I, think I, I would lean towards a triple myself because Stahlberger really never touched the ball. Nope. nope. Misjudged, yes. Well, yeah, he but, totally misjudged it. But it, I think, again, you know, kind of lost that ball coming at him. It came off so quickly. This one hit well to short. Lee flips. And it's bobbled by Adi. And they're gonna say everybody's safe, not even calling it on the transfer. And, and Mossy's gonna come out and ask for it to be overturned on on, uh, on a transfer. And I think that's a legitimate question or, or maybe he's just gonna have a word with his pitcher. Looks like he's just going to the yep, mound. He is. Take a look at it again. Is that it's a good flip, and his his foot's on the bag. No, I don't think he really ever had control of it. So two errors in the inning. And just like that, uh, we talked about Maddocky, and it, you can't fight, fault him. Two errors uh, in the field behind him. The one single in the inning for the Skippers on a drawn in infield. Comes back strong against Wyatt Maurer and gets him to swing over the top of a pitch down and in. Gets it on the count 0 1. Trying to keep the damage at nice a minimum. Pitch. And again, Maddox has shown no fear in how he has attacked the, the skipper's hitters. And again, a willingness to, to throw any of his pitches on any count. And he's shown the ability to throw all three for strikes. And it, there is a big strike yeah. for out number two. Yeah, you talked about limiting the damage. And again, just one run so far here in the uh, in the top of the fourth and if he can get out of it with just that having runners at first and second that would be a big that would be a big win for him and back to the top of the order the catcher number nine 
Lincoln Heitkamp. Fastball chopped, fouled on the third baseline. Yeah, if he, if he can get out of this inning only giving up the one, I think that's a bit of a win. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Fastball down and away evens the count. But again, as we talked about, even if he is, now you need at least four runs. Right. Three to force, you know, keep the game alive, obviously, but four runs to win this game. Well, and, and, and the and way he, the binder's pitching, and he's, and he's not throwing a lot of pitches so far. No. They, no, they, the Cardinals are definitely going to have to put a little more pressure on Binder. And, uh, of course, again, they need at least four. This one, Sky, it will yeah. get out of play. That's I, yours. Oh, ow. oh, I think I strained something. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should call Trainer. Jeremy, Jeremy Shepard coming over. Put some ice on it. Or in your case, maybe a little dirt on it. <laughs> Rub a little, little dirt on it. So two and two now to height camp. Two outs and two on. Maddock goes back to the curve. It's outside. They throw down to first. Good stop by Dutton on a pitch that was, or a throw from Kopp that was down in the dirt. Well, and a good throw. I think he may have had him. Benedict a little slow getting up. He was not expecting to have to dive back. And now a full count, so the runners will go on the pitch with two away. Swung on and missed. A huge pair of back-to-back -back strikeouts for Jacob Maddox. So one hit, two errors in the inning, but two left. One came across. Minnetonka leads 3-0, middle of the fourth on CTF. jump an average of 300 times per game of volleyball. Wow. And I think jumping up to go to the fridge is hard. The fastest volleyball serve was over 83 miles per hour. Yikes. If that serve were coming at me, they could have the point. I like my hands. They're dainty. Huh? <laughs> 69 degrees at the ballpark and the wind. A brisk nine. Number nine. Number nine miles an hour. There you see it. Yeah. Gently blowing out to left center. And the Cardinals uh, hole got a little deeper. And the uh, sense of urgency must get that much more intense. I mean, you still have plenty of ball in front of you. However, you have to figure out Ethan Binder. So far, Binder has allowed just one base runner, and that came on an error in the bottom of the third. And we talked about it. Just 26 pitches after three innings. This one hit well, but foul and out of play. And it, so they really have not made Binder sweat on the mound nope. at all. His longest inning was 10 pitches in the first. This one hit well toward the gap in right center, and that's going to run all the way to the fence. Dutton is going to be in easily with a double. Thought about it, but will stay aboard with a leadoff double. Well, that's exactly what the Cardinals needed. Obviously, a leadoff, nonetheless, an opportunity to get a guy in scoring position right away. You're trying to cut into this 3-0 lead. Great yeah, I was just saying, you want to see more pitches, but 
then you want results and base runners, and, and that's a, a great start for Tommy Dutton. And a great, yeah, and again, just a, a great way to start this bottom half of the fourth. Just perfectly placed between yep. Poole and Mahati, and no chance for either of them. And now here's Jared Fearing. First pitch, thought about it. And he did commit, so strike one. Now we'll see what Binder does here with a little bit of pressure with a runner at second. Oh uh, yeah, first I was just gonna say first time they, yep. the Cardinals have had a base runner in scoring position. Just the first hit of the evening for Ethan Binder. This one fouled to the backstop. I don't know that he wants to throw Jared Fearing too many belt high no. fastballs. Nope. Goes right back to it. Missed a little bit outside, though. Two and two. But Binder what, has done what, what's worked. Just throwing a lot of strikes, getting a lot of ground balls. That one in the dirt, great stop by Heitkamp. No chance for Dutton to try to advance. Yeah, just coming out of his position, making sure he kept his body in front of the ball, keeping the ball in front of him. That's what you do as a catcher. And now a full count to Fearing. First base open, we'll see what Binder decides to do. This one grounded foul in front of third base. We'll try a different approach, perhaps. Perhaps. Or maybe not. Maybe we go right back to that. A little bit of off speed pitch. Fearing got out in front of it. This is the first three ball count of the evening for Binder. Fearing is going to make him work for it. This will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. By far the longest yes. at bat of the evening for the Cardinals. Fastball oh. called a strike. It's a big out for yeah, Binder. It's huge out. Fearing thought he got a free trip for a pitch that maybe was a little bit inside. Not the way the official saw it. He's rung up. Second strike out of the ball game for Ethan Binder. One out and the runner at second base. And now Jaden Kopp grounded out to shortstop in the second. Curveball is in for a strike. And Binder trying to keep that goose egg on the scoreboard for Coon Rapids. This one slashed foul and out of play, 0-2. Well, Maurer is not going to have one hit over his head that stays in play and left. He's pretty deep. Making sure he'll be able to come in on any fly balls headed his way with the wind behind him. 0-2, oh, fastball misses outside. Fastball popped up left side. Underneath it, Wheeler from third makes the catch. Round number two. A yeah, big second out now in the field for the skippers. Is doesn't have that leadoff double. They would like to keep him there. But Zach Novak will try and have something to say about that. Zach Novak. Pop up fly ball to short left field. It was tracked down by the shortstop, Will Keppen, back in the second inning. Trying to come up with a big two-out hit. 
keep the inning alive, get that run home, get the goose egg off the board, not waste the leadoff double. He'd like to do it all with one swing of the bats if he can. That one's in the dirt. 2-0. and okay, Just a good backhanded stop. Keeps it in front of him. Make sure that that doesn't advance. Fastball outside, 3-0. and Taking all the way was Novak, and Binder threw it right down the middle to get a strike three and one, his longest inning easily of yeah, this. By, by far. Ball game so far. Lead off double by Dutton, but he's got a couple of outs, and great-looking curveball, and Novak way out in front. And yeah. the count is full. Yeah, all of a sudden being uh, down in the count three and oh, able to battle back and get a couple of strikes, see if he can get that third out. Novak reaches out, pokes that one over the head of Benedict. Rounding is Dutton. He's going to come home and score an RBI single with two outs for Zach Novak. Good job by Novak, just making sure that uh, he got his bat in front of the ball. Knocks in that first run. Yeah, it's not how hard you swing. Not how hard no. you hit it. It's where you put it. Zach yeah. Novak just kind of Reached out and poked this one just over the head of Colton Benedict at short. Dutton scores easily. Cardinals on the board. They've gotten back the one that the skippers got in the first or the top half of the inning. And they now lead the game if we're only going by earned runs. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that's not the way it works. All three skippers' runs have been unearned. Three errors for the Cardinals. That pitch way up high. Sammy Lee gave it a wave trying to protect the runner. And to no avail as Novak is thrown out trying to steal second. And that is the third out of the inning. Cardinals get one on a pair of hits. It's 3-1 Minnetonka after four. You're watching High School Baseball on CTS. good ones for you Joe how do football players stay cool by standing next to the fans <laughs> what kind of tea do football players drink penalty why can't you play football with pigs because they hog the ball uh. Back at Wintercrest. Just about ready to get the fifth inning underway. What hole is that up there, Joe? That is hole 20. It is the finishing hole, although it is technically the 21st hole of the course here at Wintercrest. It has been uh, rearranged a couple of times and is uh, constantly evolving and well, well trafficked. A very solid course that gets a lot of play. By you as well. By me as well, but yes, it is well it is well regarded within the disc golf community, and uh, it is heavily trafficked. It's like the sawgrass. Will Kepin, I don't know if I go quite that <laughs> far, but Will Kepin is going to lead things off for Minnetonka. This one foul. Evens the count at one and one. Kepin 0 for 2 with a ground out and a fly to left. 
Skippers grabbed the lead with a two-run home run in the top of the first inning. Added another run in the top of the fourth. Cardinals got on the board in the bottom of the fourth. And that's where we are starting the fifth. Minnetonka up three to one. Kepin on a couple of hops to second. Adi to Dutton for out number one. Well, then Matta comes out here in the in the top of the fifth, taking the mound, and obviously would like a quick inning. His squad able to get one run back, as you mentioned, in the bottom half of the fourth. Would like to make it a quick quick work here. But he, he has he has been solid again. He has. You know, just he's given up three runs all unearned. He's given up four hits, but three errors in the field behind him, and that one completely baffled Nathan Wheeler. That that hit the dirt. Two yeah. and a half feet in front of home plate. And still a swinging strike. That one breaks down and in, one and one. Wheeler reached on an error in the first inning and then scored on the home run by Binder. Twisted in knots by that curveball, and it's one and two. Again, he's doing a good job of staying ahead in the count. Slow roller to the left side. Novak has to hurry. Good stretch by Dutton for out number two. Yeah, nice release by Novak because that ball kind of died a little bit in the infield grass. But he's able to make the nice pickup and then a quick throw over to the bag to Dutton. Records the out. Now batting for the skippers, the pitcher number 11, Ethan Another look, staring straight into the sun, but... Novak's play just as blinding as the sunset. The jury's to write for Hallmark. <laughs> One to know to Ethan Binder. He had that two-run home run in the first. Gave up the first run of the game on the hill in the bottom half of the second. Strikeout in the or a. Uh, Home run in the first, a ground out in the third. Curveball misses outside. Three and one. Maddie could love to have his second one, two, three inning of the ball game. The first came against the same part of the order. Two, three, four hitters. Not, Not to be this time as it's up and in to Binder and that's a walk. First walk issued by Jacob Maddock this evening. Now batting for the Skippers. The first baseman, number five, Gus Berger. That'll bring up Berger. Berger, a bunt single in the first. Popped up to third. Last time up, that pitch up high. Oh, good. Again, just get out of the, again, wants to get out of the inning without any damage. This one fouling out of play, one and one. Bullpen's quiet for the Cardinals, obviously. This, with Maddox pitching well. Another pitch too tall for Gus Berger, two and one. Maddox misses high again and in danger of back to back two out walks. Heading the count now of his Berger at three and one. He was waiting all day on that. Oh, he needed it. Binder will go. The pitch is up high. Ball four. A little two-out trouble here in the field for the Cardinals. This cop's going to take a walk out to the mound to 
talk to his pitcher. Cardinal Brain Trust talking about things. So Hudson Poole, who lined one to left that is ruled by the Cardinal scorebook as, as an error. We thought it was a triple. We thought. That was our thought. He, he ended up at third, and the left fielder never actually touched the ball. Nope. Clearly misjudged it, and had he gone back from the start, it would have been an easy play. So, in that instance, what well, it could have been a routine out, but wasn't. So I, I can see it both ways. Right. However, either way, and we'll we'll go with the book as as it being zero and two, because that's what it says on the scoreboard. <laughs> on the scoreboard. Fastball hit hard, back up the middle. No question about that one. Lead runner Binder is going to be waved home. He will score, and the lead back to three for the Skippers. Yeah, solid base hit, too, to get that runner across from second base and increase the lead. Makes it 4-1 in favor of Minnetonka. A little two out. Offense here for the Skippers. Again, just a nice piece of hitting. Able to find the green. Tyson Mahaddy 0 for or 1 for 2. Had infield single his last time up. Goes down after that one. Slow roller to Adi at second. Scoops, throws, and the inning is over. But another run comes across on a pair of two-out walks and a two-out single. Minnetonka's lead is 4-1. to one. As you know, CTN's on YouTube, and we're on in a big way. We have thousands of videos online to help you stay connected to Coon Rapids on any device, at home, or on the go. And it's because of your faithful viewership that we can celebrate 10,000 subscribers to the CTN YouTube page. Thank you for your support as we continue to keep you connected. So Minnetonka jumped to the early lead, a two-out, two-run home run by pitcher Ethan Binder. Gave him the lead. They never looked back. They got the triple or the error to start the fourth inning. Tyson Mahaddy chopped one through to drive in the first run, and then Tommy Dutton leadoff double. Zach Novak. A two-out RBI single in the bottom of the fourth. Got Coon Rapids on the board, but again, Minnetonka had the answer. A two-out hit on their side of the ledger has them back in front four to one. Yeah, it gives them a little insurance as we head to the bottom of the fifth in this game, heading towards the seventh. Cardinals like to get a little offense going here in the bottom of the fifth. Try and get at least the one run back, if not more. Sammy Lee will lead things off for Coon Rapids. He was at the plate when Novak was caught stealing to end the fourth. Lee, Califoot, and Stahlberger, the scheduled hitters. Fastball just off the outside edge, 2-0. and oh. so Logan Ness warming up in the bullpen for Coon Rapids. There he is. One rolled to the left side. Wheeler scoops it, throws across to Berger, and there's one gone. 
Yeah, good ball came out pretty quickly, but uh, Wheeler did a really nice job of getting it in his glove. And a nice snap throw to the bag at first. So we're going to have a new DH for yep. Coon Rapids. Price Karen. He happens to be. He does happen to be. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine entering the ball game with one out, nobody on, and he is out in front of the off speed pitch. 0 oh 1. Binder has been very strong. He goes back to that and again just drops it off the table, and Karen swinging through out in front of it anyway. 0 oh 2. Karen hitting 296 on the season. Looking to see if he can get a base hit here. Try and get some run production in the bottom of the fifth. Liner just staying with that changeup. This one froze him as it fell through the zone. Strike three. Third strike out of the game for Ethan Binder. And now Mason Myrie. Couple of uh, offensive changes here for Coach Mossy's squad. Meyer hitting 259 on the season. Now batting for the Cardinals, number 12, Mason Miley. Hope they've been paying attention because Binder's been strong all yeah. night. Have they watched from the dugout? Fastball up and into Myrie. Pretty easy take that time. He goes back to that curveball and drops it right across for a strike. That's been working pretty well for him, too, when he does that. Again, throwing that fastball and then mixing it up. And he throws a fastball for a strike. One and two. Way up high. Count is even. Binder threw 26 pitches through the first three. Through 23 in the fourth. He's just a dozen here in the fifth. Another one, two, three inning, his third of the ball game. And his skippers lead 4-1 as we head to the sixth on CTF. So, Howie, did you know the term soccer actually came from England? Uh, but don't the English call soccer football like pretty much everyone else? Yeah, but only after we started saying soccer and the world was mocking us for it. So you're saying the UK set us up? Yep, sabotage. Ah, oh, Brits. Beautiful evening to be at the ballpark. Blankets are out, a light breeze as we get into the evening yeah, hours, but a, a very chilly. comfortable evening for early, well, mid-May now. Mid-May, correct. A little activity in, the, little activity in the Minnetonka dugout or uh, bullpen as well. We'll see if Binder is done for... The evening he has had five very strong innings. Jacob Maddox still going to start the sixth. So we talked about a little activity in the Coon Rapids bullpen. It was Nathan Wheeler throwing? Third base minder for the skippers to start this game. We'll see if they make that change in the next inning. 
Colton Benedict is one for two. Curveball breaks in the perfect spot for strike two. This one rolled to the left side. Lee bobbled it. And then the throw well offline, and that is going to be error number four. Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been tough for the Cardinals in the field this season, and they've obviously committed more errors than, the, than they want to be and should be. But then, again, just that relatively routine ground ball just going to get past Sammy. Not able to recover in time to get the throw at first. Mauer pops up the bunt all the way to the backstop. Mauer 0 for 2, obviously trying to sacrifice himself, push that runner into scoring position. Well, you'll play small ball in this situation for some insurance. That's strike two. Now that'll take it out of his hands. Benedict the runner at first, nobody out. Mauer on a hop to Adi at second. Lee, the turn is in time. They go 4-6-3, double play. That will eliminate the error to start the inning. Pitcher's best friend, the defense behind him, turns two and gets him out of trouble with no runners on the base paths. Yeah, it was Taylor made to yeah. right at Jeremy Adi. Good stretch and scoop by Tommy Dutton to finish it. Back to the top of the order, Lincoln Heitkamp 0 for 3, a couple of strikeouts. The beauty of a bender yes. for Jacob Maddock to start out 0-1. Yeah, just a piece of that, but it's 0-2. Just filling his basket with the off-speed stuff. I can't be able to get a couple of small pieces. Lays off the high heat, one and two. High fly to left field, Myrie. Ranges to his right, makes the catch. And the inning is over. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Minnetonka four, Coon Rapids one. You're watching High School Baseball on CTN. Channel 859, the CTN Facebook and YouTube pages, or now live on our Twitter page. You choose how you want to watch Cardinal Nation. With CTN, you'll be able to catch all the big plays, all the emotion, and all the fun of Coon Rapids sports. CTN Coon Rapids, stay connected. Six solid innings for starter Jacob Maddock. He gets high fives on his way back to the dugout. We assume 
He will be done for the evening. He gave up just one earned run. Had a couple of walks, handful of strikeouts. Gave up just four or five hits, but uh, four errors in the field behind him, and and uh, able to limit the skippers to just four runs. I would say, you know, the the only one he'd look at and go, "I wish they have that back." Would be the home run ball to Ethan ben oh, Binder yes. in the first inning. Absolutely, and Binder's been solid. He, he has. Is, uh, Starting the sixth inning, and he has been cruising. Adi, first pitch, hit hard to center, but just a couple of lazy steps to his right for Hudson Poole, and he retires Adi. Adi's 0 for 2. He's only been at the plate for two pitches. And well, again, coming off the bat. Reached that, on an error first time. Coming off the bat, thought that was going to maybe go a little farther, but as you mentioned, just uh, an easy play for Poole. So he didn't have to go very far to get that one. Back to the top of the order. Danny Scheller is 0 for 2. Ground ball and a fly out. We were talking about it between innings. If the Cardinals want a mount of comeback, it's got to be now with the top of the order yes. coming to the dish. That was a good-looking off-speed pitch from Binder falling in for a strike. Evens the count to Scheller, one and one. Binder continues to work quickly. Fastball at the knees, clips the inside corner, and gets Binder ahead in the count, well, one and two. He's been working quickly from the jump. Ball misses low, two and two. Curveball swung on and missed. Fifth strikeout of the game for Ethan Binder. Well, interesting. We saw Wheeler warming up for the skippers in between last inning, and we'll see if uh, if you know Binder can get a quick out here. Did they give him the seventh? Well, his pitch count is very solid. Yep. Curveball misses outside. Tommy Dutton is the only one that's touched him with any sort of authority. A double to the gap in right center leading off the fourth inning. He then scored the only run of the night for the Cardinals so far. So his next will be his 70th pitch yeah, that's, of the evening. That's great. And it is in for a called strike. Curveball rolled to the right side, scooped up by Benedict over to Berger. And that is it for the Cardinals in the sixth. We go to the seventh, Minnetonka four, Coon Rapids one. fish are so bad at volleyball because they're afraid of the net why me why couldn't the volleyball player cross the road there were too many bumps <laughs> uh. why was cinderella kicked off the team because she ran away from the ball i hate you Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events. And the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. Well, the lights have come on. I don't know that they're necessarily needed at this point quite yet. As we start the seventh inning. 
Logan Ness will come on in relief. And Jacob Maddock really threw a nice ball game. He did. Again, a little over 100 pitches, but uh, he was solid. Just a, some struggles in the field behind him. And he exits with his team trailing 4-1. to one. Two, three, four hitters due up for the skippers here in the seventh. Will Keppen is 0 for 3. First pitch fouled and out of play. Ideally, obviously, the Cardinals quick quick inning in the field here if they can. Pitch in the dirt, skips all the way to the backstop, evens the count one and one. Somebody, somebody from the Minnetonka bullpen yelled good eye after that pitch. <laughs> this one hit toward the left field line and down for a base hit. Big turn at first for Keppen, but he'll stay there with a the leadoff single. Looked off the bat like that one might go foul. Run a bit to the court. No, I thought. Oh, I thought it was going to maybe it. Maybe. I thought it was going to hit and then go into foul territory, no. but stay fair and run and, and give him an opportunity for extra bases. Mason Myrie over to get over to it pretty quickly. And now Nathan Binder. He's had a great night on the mound. He's had a solid game at the, or, oh, Nathan Wheeler's up first. Ethan yep. Binder is still on deck. But uh, Nathan Wheeler. Reached on an error and scored in the first. He's 0 for 2 since that time, so 0 for 3 on the night. First pitch, hit through the gap on the right side. Adi went a long way to get there, and he got wow. the out at first. I, that's an unbelievable play that by Jeremy really Adi, actually. That really Where is. Where that was hit, that you've got to reach on it, first base on that, but Adi went a long, long way and oh. still able to make the throw in front of the runner, Nathan Wheeler, and get the out. Yep. The, Look at the range. I mean, Kevin and, gets and again, in his scoring position, but. And a solid snap throw to get to the bag as well. And just a really nice play by Adi in the field. And now Binder comes up. He's one for two, has the home run. This one hit in his shallow center, but, uh, oh, it looked like it was going further than yep. that. Adi backs up, says ain't none but a thing. Thank you for the easy one. And that's on number two. Hard one followed by an easy one. So the leadoff single to left from Will Keppen, then two pretty quick outs. Can't get any quicker. Two pitches, two outs. And now the fastball misses high to Berger. Berger, a bunt single in the first, a pop up in the third, and a walk in the fourth. Runner at second base, two away. Fastball misses outside, 2-0. and Again, Cardinals just trying to get out without any damage here with the runner in scoring position. Trailing by three with their last three outs due up in the bottom of the seventh. Fastball foul and out of play. Fastball called a strike, evens the count two and two. Good ball and Berger got a piece of it and that stung Jaden Cop a bit. Yeah, got a piece of Cop. Give him a little extra time to walk it off. Fastball, laced foul, and out of play. Berger not going down without a fight. Look at that red. 
Bag of popcorn. <laughs> Another 2-2 two -two for Gus Berger. Grounded back up the middle. Lee bobbled it. Everybody's going to be safe. Error number five. five. I mean, again, those are balls, routine balls. You have to make those plays in the field. You're trying to get back to the, the plate and stay out of any uh, additional damage. And you just, yeah, make those. That'll bring up Hudson Poole. An RBI single is last at bat. Crushed one to left field that was ruled an error, but he ended up at third base and later scored. First pitch is a fastball for a strike. Again, Logan Ness trying to get out of a little bit of a jam. Lead-off single and then a two-out error. Runners into corners. Keeps the inning alive for the skippers. Off-speed pitch. Hit to the left side. Stopped up by Lee. The throw across in time. And no damage done. The Cardinals able to leave those two runners stranded. They still trail by three as we go to the bottom of the seventh on CTF. Today we're on soccer, Joe. So my goal is to kick around some topics with you, but I don't want to foul things up by being too forward. Please stop that. <laughs> so could you assist me? Stop. Maybe pass some ideas How? so we can tackle this together? Howie? Oh boy. I'm just saying, this really isn't my field. Unbelievable. The man, the myth, the legend, Dave Emmy. The one, the only. Oh, Paris Foster. and there's Paris Foster. Look at that. And there, oh my God. believe it or not, is the boss himself, Eric Strauss. Does he get paid for, for this? Thing? I don't know. Did he get paid, Eric? Not I'm not sure. Did you get, get a little extra check for doing this job? There it is. It all comes down to this. The Cardinals pitching is, has done enough to keep them in a ball game where they've committed five errors in the field. But they trail four to one. Heart of their order, two up. Fearing, Cop and Novak are the scheduled hitters. And they continue to see Binder, who has thrown just 71 pitches to start the inning. Giving up just two hits. This one skied and underneath it is Berger. He waits, squeezes out number one. A quick first out in the field for the skippers. And again, no surprise that uh, they let Ethan Binder pitch just seventh inning. Yeah, he's been very strong. Yeah, very efficient. Not a lot, not a lot of pitches thrown here. I'm Five sure. strikeouts, no walks. He'd like to just close two hits. Just three base runners allowed. None since the fourth inning. Cop sends this one foul and out of play. I love the optimism of the Minnetonka fielders who jog just to check it out. That one was well out of play. But they wanted to show that they were going for it, going for it trying to help their teammate close out a very strong effort on the hill. This one hit up the middle. Keppen waits. He bobbles it and drops it, and that's the second error of the ball game against the Skippers. Yeah, sometimes just those routine plays uh, get difficult. You see, just uh, not able to look it into his glove, and at that point he's going to have to rush it. He's not going to get the runner anyway at this point. Bring up Zach Novak, an RBI single. In the fourth inning, drove in the lone run for the Cardinals to this point. 
one for two. Curveball in the dirt. Snapped and kept in front of him by Lincoln Heitkamp. Curveball hit hard, but right at the third baseman, and Cop was well off the bag, and they just double it up. Line to Wheeler across to Berger, and this ball game is over. Yeah, Nathan Binder uh, going to thank his defense for that, obviously. You get a nice double play to end this game, a solid outing on the mound for Ethan Binder for the skippers, and again, just a shot to third base. Wheeler the catch and then the throw across as you talked about catching cop off and that will end this ball game four to one win for minnetonka they're going to move to eight and seven the cardinals will drop to seven and eight on well, the season and just 77 pitches in the uh outing for ethan binder 52 of them for strikes he had again five strikeouts no walks gave up just two coon rapids hits and the one run and uh, the Cardinals, they get a solid outing from uh, their starter, Jacob Maddock, and a good inning in relief from Logan Ness, but five errors in the field. Only one of their four runs allowed was earned. And the Skippers are going to have a happy road trip home on the bus. Winners four to one. Yeah, Cardinals uh, have have a, a tough one. They've got to come right back here, or right back to the high school anyway tomorrow. Play Maple Grove uh, Tuesday afternoon, so that uh, they're going to have to put this one behind them. This non-conference loss and face the Crimson. That is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final minute talk of four. Coon Rapids one. Want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying good night.